What do young engineers need today to succeed in today's climate? Because it's different than it was 5, 10, 15 years ago. So what skill sets do you really need? Well, in today's engineering management lessons video, I'm going to ask that question to a civil engineer and CEO, Tarolyn Buckles. Tarolyn founded the company Onyx Enterprise Inc. and she has grown it and she's a very successful leader in engineering. I had the opportunity to interview her on our podcast at full length, but I also asked her this one question. Tarolyn, what skill sets should a young engineer today develop to become a successful leader. The number one skill, high top everything is communication skills. And, and we talked uh, about the verbal and written skills, but to take it a little further, it's the research also and being prepared for your projects. Uh, a lot of times, and the young engineers, when they come on board or working even for several years, you want to make sure that you're prepared. So the, the trait that I, I like to see in young engineers is, um, of course, the entrepreneur side, because they're always thinking of how to solve a project or problem. But I believe is being prepared, and that is to do the research. Come prepared for the meetings. Come prepared for your client to offer you know, new ideas, are there new technologies, and, and really to just be a team player. The traits that I see and I really encourage is just teamwork. That's important. And, you know, we're trained that in, at, uh, from a university level, you know, particularly with the University of Michigan, our civil engineering department, and I believe uh, universities across the country in the U.S. is working together in teams. And you'll find that you have different strengths and then others who are not, does not have that strength in a particular area, you're going to be well off and be a, have a successful project if you're working together as a team. So if a person knows that their strength is in maybe hydraulic modeling and another person is the structural engineer, or you have the transportation engineer, uh, working together in concert, but also being respectful too of their their talents. And I see that a lot as well too, is just uh, making sure that you're always working together in a, in a team, being respectful of the uh, talents that others may have and the communication skills uh, and being organized and making sure that when you're running a project that you're seeing it from A to Z, from not just the scope, the budget and the schedule, but also other aspects of it too, from a client perspective. You know, what are the expectations of the client? And really having those check-ins with the client, you know, how are we doing? And, it, and it's pretty much a, as a relationship because it is a relationship. So that communication in all relationships is extremely important, but check-in of how are we doing? How is the project doing? How am I doing? Is there any areas of improvement? And there's always lessons learned in, in every project throughout, you know, and in engineering, there's, you know, always challenges to projects. Uh, it can be a challenge from utilities standpoint, which we see that in many of our projects. And it can be challenges uh, with the site itself, maybe the soil condition. So a lot of times these projects are going to be tough. So you want to rely on the skill of your team and bring in uh, the best in those experts, those subject matter experts. And a lot of times, if you're not, uh, if that's not your area of expertise, it's okay to research, to study it, and and it's going to shine. You're going to shine because you're going to be the one who brings in. And, you know, it's going to it's going to show in your work. Yeah, I think what you're hitting on there that's really important is the you have to provide value to your clients, especially as a consulting engineer. Um, or working in the private sector. And a lot of times, recent graduates, younger professionals, you're so focused on your technical skill sets. And then hopefully you do progress over to developing your non-technical skill sets like communication, leadership, project management. But ultimately, kind of underlying all of those things is you have to drive a lot of value for your clients. So to Tarolyn's point, you got to check in with them. You got to provide status updates on projects. You got to be prepared for meetings. You want to bring value to the table because they're going to remember you if you do that. And they're going to want to come back and hire your company again. And that's really 
I think a big, big takeaway. So Tarlin, I want to thank you again for spending some time with us here and for just giving us some advice that I think a lot of engineers can really do a lot with. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you so much, Anthony. I hope you enjoyed that short piece of advice from Tarolyn. So many engineers don't think about their clients, their projects, and how they provide value. They only think about themselves and their own skills and their own career and their degrees and their licenses. If you provide value to your clients, you will win in your career, period. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please subscribe here. We put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better managers and leaders. I'll see you next week.